All right, so when I'm working with long division, I always like to remind myself of the steps. Okay, so over here, I'm going to write D, M, S, V, and that stands for divide, multiply, subtract, bring down, because those are our steps for long division. We can also remember dad, mom, sister, brother. Okay, so divide, multiply, subtract, bring down. Those are our steps. All right, so first, let's look at our problem. So we're going to do 18 divided by two. So we're going to put our dividend in here. Well, that did not work so well, which is 18, okay? And then our divisor, which is the number that we are dividing by, is two. We're going to put it here. So our first step is to divide. Okay, so we look at how many times can two fit into one. Okay, so two is bigger than one, so we know that it can't fit into the to the tenth spot. Okay, so I like to use a zero to hold my place value just to remind myself that nothing goes there. So then I'm going to look, how many times does two go into 18? So for this one, I might skip count. So I might do two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18. Okay, and then I'm gonna count how many I did. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So two goes into 18 nine times. So that's our divide step, okay? Then we're going to multiply. Two times nine is 18. So we're going to put our 18 here. And then our next step is to subtract. So we're going to put our subtraction sign there. We're going to do eight minus eight is zero. One minus one is zero. And our answer is nine. So in this case, we're not actually bringing anything down because that's our answer and there's no remainder. So our, our answer to 18 divided by two is nine. So let's go ahead and put that in. Awesome. All right, now we're going to do 57 divided by three. So let's open our scratch pad. And again, I'm going to just remind myself, divide, multiply, subtract, bring down. Okay, so now we make our little box and we put our dividend, 57, that's the number that we are dividing. And we're putting our three, that's our divisor, the number we're dividing by. So our first step is to divide. So how many times does three go into five evenly without going over? So three times one is three, so it could be one. And then three times two is six, which is bigger than five, so it can't be two. So that means three goes into five evenly one time. Okay, so our next step is we're going to multiply. So we're going to do three times one, which is three, and then we subtract. So we put our little minus symbol and we subtract. Five minus three is two. Okay, and our next step, bring down. So we're going to bring down our seven. Do, 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 do. Come down here, seven. All right. So now we ask ourselves, how many times does three go in to 27? So I know in my head, that nine times three is 27. So I'm going to put my nine up here, and then I'm going to do three times nine, which is 27, as we said, and then we subtract. 27 minus 27 is going to be a big even zero. Okay, so we have no remainders, and our answer to 57 divided by three is 19. Let's put that in there. Woohoo, correct. All right, so we actually just did this problem, so I'm not sure why we got it again, but we can go ahead and try it again, maybe using a different strategy. All right, so we still wanna remind ourselves, divide, multiply, subtract, bring down, because those are tricky steps to remember. All right, so let's do 57 divided by three, or we could just go ahead and skip this since we already did it, and we could say, oh, we know that it's 19. 
Close scratch pad. Let's put in 19. Oh, nice work. All right, let's do 14 divided by 2. All right, so we have our steps. And I always put those because honestly, it's 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 easy to forget these steps. So I have them right here just to remind myself. So we will do 14 divided by two. All right, so we might know this in our head just from skip counting, but we're still gonna show our work for the sake of showing our work and doing it in our head. All right, so first we say, how many times can two evenly go into one? Hmm. We know that it can't because two is bigger than one. So let's hold our place with a zero just so we know and move on. So how many times does two go into 14? Let's go ahead and try to skip count. So two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14. Okay, so how many is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, so we put our seven up here. And then we do two times seven, which we know is 14. And we put that here. Okay, and then we do 14 minus 14. We know that's going to be zero across the board. All right, so there's nothing else that we can do. So we know our answer is for 14 divided by two is seven. So let's put that in here. Yes, awesome. All right, now we're going to do 44 divided by two. So we'll quickly put our steps. All right, and now let's put it in here. So 44, that's our dividend. Another way I remember what is the dividend is that it ends the problem, okay? So our dividend ends it whereas our divisor, which is two, is at the beginning. All right, so our first step, as we know, is divide. All right, so how many times can two go into four evenly? Let's count, two, four. All right, so we could go two times. So we're going to put our two up here. Then we multiply two times two is four. And then we subtract. 4 minus 4 is 0, and you know what comes next, Do -do 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 -do. bring it down, the 4, okay? Then we do, how many times does 2 go into 4? Well, we already know that it's 2 times. So we do 2 times 2, which is 4, okay? And then we still subtract. We do 4 minus 4 is 0. And that's our answer. So it's going to be 22, zero remainders. Let's see if we are right. That is right, awesome. All right, let's do the next one. So now we have 34 divided by two. So let's open our scratch pad. And you might already know the steps by heart, but I'm still gonna put them here. All right, we are going to divide, we're going to multiply, we're going to subtract, and we're going to bring down. All right, so let's put our problem here. So 34, our dividend, it comes to the end, divided by two. All right, so let's look at our numbers. Two goes into three evenly only one time, okay? So then we're going to do two times one, which is two. And then let's subtract three minus two, we know is one. And then we're going to bring down our four. Come on down, four. All right, now we say two goes into 14 how many times? Well, this one's a little tricky, so I'm going to skip count. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14. All right, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So two goes into 14 seven times. Okay, and then two times seven is 14. And again, we are left with zero, so we have no remainders, and our answer is 17. Let's put that in there. Bada bing, bada boom, look at us go. All right. Okay, so this one actually gives us 
multiple choice. So our answer is either four, two, seven, or five. Okay, so why don't we try a different strategy this time? So 12 divided by three equals something. So whatever this answer is, it would be that answer times three equals 12. So let's see, let's do each one. So two, let's see what two times three is. Well, two times three is six. So that's not the answer because we need to get to 12. All right, let's try five times three. Hmm, let's see, that would be 15, which is not quite 12. So let's try four times three. And we can skip count four, eight, 12. So if we put our four here, and then we multiply that by three, it equals 12. Because remember, division is just multiplication reversed. So we can always find our number that way. So our answer to this one, 12 divided by three, is four. Nice work, team. All right, this one's asking 66 divided by three. So this one we're just going to solve doing the standard algor algorithm because it's just an easier way to do it. All right, we'll do 66, that's our dividend, divided by three. All right, how many times does three go into six without going over? So we could do three, six, all right, two. Three times two is six, then we subtract. We do six minus six is zero, and we bring that six down. Again, how many times does three go into six? Well, we already know that's two. We do three times two, is six and here is our answer so let's look then so our answer that we got is 22 is that one of our options oh it sure is all right let's pick 22 super job all right this one is 18 divided by three so we could skip count to try to figure this answer out we could do reverse and do multiplication I prefer the algorithm, so I'm gonna do it that way. Another way that we could do it is by drawing it out. So we could draw 18 dots, so let's do, we're gonna do three groups of 18. 18 divided by three, so not three groups of 18. All right, so we're gonna do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So now we want to figure out how many even groups can we make of three. All right, so we have one group, two groups, three groups, four groups, five groups, six groups. Beautiful. Is that one of our options? Six. Yes, it is. All right, so we have six. That's equal groupings. All right, for 15 divided by three, let's just do our good old fashioned algorithm. All right, so we're gonna put our 15 inside, our three here. All right, so we do three, can't go into one because it's bigger. So we're going to put our zero there just so we remember that nothing can go there. Then we do, how many times can three go into 15? Well, let's skip count. Three, six, nine, 12, 15. So one, two, three, four, five. All right, so I'm gonna put my five here. Three times five is 15. Subtract that, we have our zero, so we have no remainders. And our answer is going to be five. Is that one of our options? Well, it sure is. Here we go. Great job.